everybody. My name is Hannah and yeah, thank you so much, Laura. That was just wonderful move, movement to kind of do in order to come to a place of more stillness to breathe. And I do recommend that um, breathing is something to be done every day. Conscious breathing, meaning to bring our attention to the act of doing it and to have a little move around first, even if it's just a shake out or any sort of um, yoga or dancing movement like that. It's really, really useful for helping the, the body to just then arrive into a more place of stillness. So before we dive in, do get comfortable. Find your seat. Um, yeah, don't um, lean against anything, perhaps bring your, your back up. Um, nothing too straight or rigid, you want to be comfortable, but you want to have space to breathe. So a nice seated uh, position. If you're sat on a chair, then just make sure that both feet are flat on the ground. So let's just dive straight in. I'm just gonna gently ask you to close your eyes. And if you have been um, moving with Laura, if you managed to, to, to do that as well, like I was, I'm trying to do it in the space that I had, um, just close your eyes and gently bring the attention in. Just notice how the body feels after that movement. So nice and softly breathing in and out through the nose. Just notice, perhaps there is a sense of stimulation of sensation after that movement. Perhaps there are areas of tension that are speaking to you from aches and pains. Um, what is going on for you in this moment? Internally, start with the physical sensation and then any other sensations within the body. I'm going to invite you to just take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale through an open mouth and a sigh. <sighs> Lovely. We're going to do that two more times. On that exhale, please relax your jaw, relax your face, allow that sigh to really come out of the body. Let's try it again. A deep inhale and just hold at the top and then exhale. <sighs> And that's lovely. I saw Nicole wiggling her jaw there and, and uh, kind of massaging these two muscles either side, which really, they hold a lot of tension, these muscles. So when we go into the breathing practice in a moment, just remember to relax your face, follow my verbal cues. But sometimes we go into this kind of um, breathing and we're kind of like, you know, like this. And we, we only need to actually remind ourselves to soften. And the exhale is the most wonderful tool to do that with. We're just going to do the one more, one more breath. So really take in that inhale. Deep, deep, deep. Hold at the top just for a second and then let it out with a big sigh. <sighs> let the shoulders drop. Let the face soften. Let the tummy soften. Nestle the sit bones into your seat. Ready to begin. Keeping the eyes gently closed. I'm going to invite you to place one hand on your tummy and one hand on your chest, your upper chest. Just start taking a few breaths here. Don't change anything about your breathing now. Don't suddenly um, employ the best breathing habits. Just breathe how you naturally breathe. And notice, is your hand on your tummy moving? Is the hand on your chest moving? Are both moving simultaneously together? knowing that there's no right or wrong to this. It's just about observing how you are breathing in this moment before we begin to invite a deeper, more conscious embodied breath into our vessels. If you had to describe in three words to yourself of how you were breathing in this moment, what three words would you pick? Would they be slow and um, relaxed or is there some restriction, it's shallow, fast, embodied or disconnected, all is relevant. We just observe without analysis, without judgment, we just observe. Just take two more breaths here. Before we're going to invite you to put 
both hands um, at the bottom of your ribs. So kind of where your ribs end and either, either side. So the um, fingers aren't quite touching. You can open your eyes and just have a look here um, if you need to. And just relax the shoulders. And we're going to invite a deeper breath in. So slowly, surely in your own pace, start to breathe in a little deeper. Really imagine the breath coming down into the bottom of the lungs. You should feel the hands move and expand. This isn't the hands just moving um, forward and backwards as the tummy rises and falls. This is the hands also moving out to the side. Feel it in the back as the back expands. The whole torso expands in every direction, a little bit like a jellyfish uh, moves when they swim in the ocean. And then on the exhale, um, that whole system softens as well as the air leaves the body. So continue with this cycle. The inhale really consciously inviting the breath deeper and imagine that as the lungs fill with air the diaphragm gets pushed down this kind of frisbee shaped muscle gets pushed down and then the tummy also f sort of moves as a byproduct of that expands and softens expands and softens just keep breathing with this now, breathing is such a transformational tool. It has so many benefits. It's unreal. And yet we don't do it all the time. And it's a huge question. And I believe that this is because of habit. It's not in our habit. We are not in the habit of looking in and consulting our breath. And we are not educated to breathe in, in the way that we should. So, and also distraction, masters of distraction. We are masters of distraction. So let us just commit, commit to yourself. I invite you to commit to yourself for the next five minutes that we are going to simply breathe together in this fuller way. So keeping your hands there, if that really helps you invite the breath to come deeper. If not, you can put them down and maybe have your palms um, on the thighs, however is comfortable for you. But I'm going to count um, an inhale and then count to five and an exhale and a count to five. And this is going to signify the breath coming in and out. And we're just going to follow this pace for five minutes. So knowing we're masters of distraction, that's OK. But when you notice that the mind has gone anywhere, but really observing your breath and where it's going in the body and how your body is moving with the breath, just like a little puppy that's ran off, just bring it back and we'll just reconcentrate with your breath. We're just doing it for five minutes. So if you just start with a little exhale to begin with the inhale. So breathe out through the nose first. To inhale for one two, three, four, five, and exhale for one, two, three, four, five, inhale for one, two, three, four, five, and exhale for one, two, three, four, five. Inhale for one, two, three, four, five, and exhale for one, two, three, four, five. Inhale for one, two, three, four, five. Exhale for one, two, three, four, five. Keep breathing like this. Just keep breathing, keep counting the numbers in your head. Breathe slowly. If you're struggling to get to five, go down to a four, go down to a three, do what is in comfortable and in your range and then grow from that place, slow and fully. And while you're here breathing, just notice what sensations arise for you. This language of sensation is really important in breath work. 
They are the two things that live in the present moment, your sensation and your breath. And by connecting to them, you are stepping in to the present moment, even for a second with practice makes progress. So just keep breathing in this way, softening the face, taking the breath deep, taking the breath fully in like a wave filling up the body and resting on the exhale. Staying with this breathing, I'm going to invite you to think of something that you feel really grateful for in your life right now, something that you are incredibly thankful for and to bring it to your mind, to bring it into your presence and tension. And this could be a person, this could be a place, this could be an experience, this could be a pet, this could be a relationship, something that you feel immense gratitude towards. Collect that thing and bring it in. And as you bring it to mind, just breathe with that. Really concentrate on this specific thing. Who is it? What is it? What about it are you grateful for? Try and really narrow it down. If there was one word that described how you feel about this, what word would that be? Even if that was grateful. Maybe there's another. Maybe inspired, love. Now bring this right to the heart space. So just in the middle of the chest, just bring that to the heart space and continue to breathe in this way. For the last 10 breaths, we're going to imagine that we're breathing into this heart space. So still uh, embodying these deeper, more conscious, committed breaths. But on the inhale, imagine that this breath is actually coming into the heart space, keeping this feeling of gratitude or this person, place, thing, pet with you, this feeling, and then exhaling as well. Just allow the breath to come into the heart space and leave from that heart space. Bring your full focus here. What sensations arise when you fully connect to this area? And then we're gently going to bring the hands over to the heart space as well to just close the practice. So bringing your hands to the heart space and perhaps bowing the head, knowing that you can take this feeling with you for the rest of your day. And we're gently going to bring the breath back to whatever is comfortable for you. Hopefully that was all comfortable. Um, never breathe uncomfortably. And um, just blink the eyes open and have a look around the room, re-familiarise yourself, notice perhaps where your eyes are drawn to. And then we'll just come back to the space as well to have any questions. And thank you very much for breathing with me.